Let me set the scene for you with this. It's Friday night in Daly City. It's 9.30 in the evening. The theater house lights just come back on. I look around with the rest of the audience. No one says a thing. No one moves from their seats. The movie credits are rolling. No one moves. The reason why none of us are moving, none of us are doing anything, I'm pretty sure it's because we are all thinking the same thing, and I mean this in a good way. What the hell did we just watch? The film we're going to be talking about today is Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Let's talk for a minute. Where do I begin with this wildly inventive, imaginative, and unique film? First, I'll say this. The rating, it's a 10 out of 10, no question. What's really interesting with this movie is that if you just look at the trailer, you might think that it is like a science fiction or action movie, but it actually is very emotional at its core. And it's something that we just kind of see as the film goes along. Everything kind of works together. Let's start with the positives of this movie. First of all, I'm going to say the story. However they came up with this screenplay, it is brilliant on so many levels. It is funny. It is creepy, kind of scary at times and then very emotional too. It deals with a lot of issues about identity. It deals about generational passing on of issues. It deals with themes and subject matters that you wouldn't have thought this movie was going to actually focus on. In very inventive ways, it talks about sensitive topics like relationships as a family, relationships as a married couple, relationships between parent and child. And it definitely is the cast here that really brings all of the amazingness of this movie to life. The cast for this movie includes the always amazing Michelle Yeoh, Ki He Kwan, who plays Michelle Yeoh's husband in this movie and is returning in one of his first major roles ever since playing Short Round in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Yeah, that far back. And then the very amazing, very impressive Stephanie Hsu, who plays the daughter of Michelle Yao and Kihi Kwan's characters in this movie. And one other cast member that I don't want to overlook here is Jamie Lee Curtis. One thing which has been really wonderful to see with Jamie Lee Curtis is that she is picking movies that are becoming classics. And the last two in particular that I'm thinking of are the brilliant Knives Out from 2019, See This Movie. And now this movie with everything, everywhere, all at once. The supporting character she plays here is very funny, but also very heartwarming at times, and she's just on a roll right now with her career, so I can't wait to see what she does next. I'm also really glad that I was able to see this in the movie theater, because it just reinforced how effective this movie was, because it was hilarious. We were all laughing like crazy. There were also scenes that were surprisingly emotional, and I and a lot of others were getting like teary-eyed. It's one of those movies that, when it was done, as part of what I said earlier, where what the hell did we just watch? I'm still thinking about this movie now. It's not just like, okay, I saw it. It was a fun action, fun this, that, that, that. And then like, I forget about it. I'm not forgetting about this movie. I'm just going to say this right now. For 2022, this is my favorite movie so far. Now, of course, we still have seven more months to go, but I'm just saying this is the one to beat. As far as negatives or the cons for this movie, I don't really have any of those. I'll just say this. This movie needs a wider release than even the expansion that it's had recently. Now it's on about 2,200 screens. It needs to be on more screens. It needs to be everywhere possible. It also needs a bigger marketing budget. People need to be made aware of this movie. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once was directed by Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert. These are the directors who actually made the movie with Daniel Radcliffe called Swiss Army Man. I've heard good things about this movie, and you better believe I'm going to rent that movie after this experience with their second film. Another interesting detail here is actually that the Russo brothers were also the producers on this film. The Russo brothers are the directors who made the wildly successful Marvel films, including Captain America The Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame. My initial thinking after seeing this movie was, all right, don't overhype this movie. Not everyone likes the same stuff. You know what? I don't care. I cannot hype this movie up enough. I do hope you see it, and I really, 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 really hope you do see it in the movie theater. I can promise you this. Whether you like it, love it, hate it, leave it, you will not forget this movie. That, I promise. Thank you for listening.